I'm planning a trip to the Parrot Gardens of Naples. Hi, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parrot Bliss Bond. Get your handbook to help you have a blissful bond with your parrot on Amazon. This here is Dakota, and we are at a little Christmas party for my daughter uh, that my mom is hosting. And I brought Dakota just so that I could have some burb to keep me company. Dakota is enjoying a little walnut. Her eating is doing a little better. If you're new to my channel, Dakota is a hawk-headed parrot or a red-fanned parrot. While the species is not in danger in the wild, it's not listed as being endangered, it's a species that's exceedingly rare to find in the US. Um, if you're not new to my channel, then welcome back. Thank you for being here. Um, you, then you probably know that we recently rescued Dakota. Her previous owner was dying, has, has probably passed away. And so we rescued Dakota and Diva. Diva is a Major Mitchell and gave them both a home. And fortunately, Dakota came to me as a plucked parrot, but, um, but there you have it. Anyway, I am planning a visit to the garden, the Parrot Gardens of Naples. I'm really excited and here's why I'm excited. First of all, um, a part of my mission for Parrot Bliss is to help keep parrots from being surrendered. In other words, I want people to have a, that blissful bond so that you don't want to surrender your parrot. I want you to have a blissful bond, to have a happy, healthy parrot, to know how to take care of your parrot. Because personally, I think that a connection with a parrot is just one of the most incredible things. I have 21 species of parrots, and I have several parrots that I am just, just so bonded to, and it fills my life. My parrots bring as much color and sound and liveliness to my life as they have, and so it's just a really significant thing to me. The, now the thing is, in the past, one of the rescues that I had tried to connect with and talk to, and every time this uh, rescue would post a video or, or a picture of a parrot that was available, I would respond and say, oh, I'm interested in this parrot, and the person would be like, oh, it's no longer available. I later he heard from other friends that um, I had one set of friends that even drove over an hour to the rescue because they were supposed to get a parrot. And when they were there, the rescue person was like, oh, sorry, I'm not, I'm not rehoming this bird now. I like, you know, I've just have had some bad experiences. I've heard some really not pleasant experiences about rescues. I think that there are a lot of rescues out there that maybe need rescuing, but there are also some rescues that are really good. So. That is why I'm really excited about going to the uh, Parrot Gardens at Naples. Um, the owner, I don't know her full name, Terry, has a really amazing reputation. Um, her site's beautiful, her, her philosophy's beautiful, her process for adopting parrots out, I really, really respect. I feel like she is all about making sure that people and parrots come together and really um, click. If, you know, it is a relationship, the bond that you have with your parrot. So a good relationship, a good bond is one where just like a date with a romantic partner, you click. Not because it's a romantic partnering, but because it is a more intimate relationship in the sense that, you know, it, well, it may even be more intimate than a romantic partner because you clean up after your parrot. In my case, you feed your parrot with a syringe as if the parrot were a baby because I'm trying to get Dakota to eat. So, you know, there's just a lot you do. You, you really take care of your parrot and it's a very close and intimate bond. Let's see if we can get her holding her. Can you see? I'm hoping you could see it's so cute. She's, yeah, she's holding her walnut. So really having the right parrot for you and 
and making sure that the parrot likes you and that you like the parrot, I think means everything in the world. I think it makes the difference between having a connection and that bond that's going to carry you through your life, your life, their life, versus um, a situation where maybe you're you're finding out that parrots can be vampires and maybe you're getting all bitten and bloody and you and the parrot are miserable and unhappy. So I really like that Terry really seeks to rehome parrots so that they find the right home. I did ask her um, because I wanted to be able to start to talk a little bit about the rescue. I did ask her what um, species are the most rehomed and of course she said cockatoos, macaws, and Amazon parrots. And of course, it's because they can have aggressive behaviors and they can be really loud. For example, with macaws, um, it said Dr. K on, on the Dr. K emergency show. You know, one thing she says is that Amazon parrots, are, or sorry, not Amazon, macaw parrots are so big that they know how to intimidate people. They know that they are intimidating. And so, you know, if you're intimidated by this big beak that can crack a walnut open and break a coconut open, of course you should be intimidated. Like, of course you're fearing for your hands or whatever you're fearing for. But Terry says it's nothing that can't be addressed um, with training. And so it's really about knowing how to work with the bird, that kind of thing. And so Terry, I, I assume that she sets out to do that. We're going to learn more. I'm going to be interviewing her. I'm so looking forward to it. I can't wait to see some of the birds that she has available um, or the birds that she has there. And on my Facebook group, or sorry, on my Facebook page, I'm going to post some of the birds because I part of what I want to do is help people who are looking for a parrot Although you should know that you have to go in person and go to the Parrot Gardens of Naples so that you find your match, kind of like dating, so that you make sure that you hook up with the right parrot for you. And so I'm just super excited about that. I think it's a really neat thing. We're going to be taking the trip right after Christmas. And Dakota probably won't be going, is not scheduled to be going. Um, if there was a hot cat there, I'd, you know, I'll look into seeing about getting Dakota a mate, but it's unlikely. This species, like I said, hot cats are rare, and I really, you know, Dakota and um, Diva, Divas are Major Mitchell, they, and like I said, they both came to us at the same time. Them crossing our paths is just like a rare opportunity, really rare. So, as a matter of fact, I don't think I've ever seen a hawk-headed parrot available before. So, I consider myself very blessed. I'm very thrilled. Um, if you want to see the interview with Terry from the Parrot Gardens at Naples, please be sure to subscribe. Set your preferences so that YouTube lets you know when the next video is posted, usually tomorrow. And make sure that you comment below. You know, if you've had experiences with rescues, I'd love to hear about them because I'd love to hear... You know, more than just my, like I know my experience, I've talked to some people, but I would love to hear your experience. And honestly, the juice is great for my channel. So that would be awesome. And until then, if you have any questions about parrots, please be sure to comment or post them below. And then we'll see you in the next video where hopefully you'll, you'll see a better angle <laughs> of this beautiful, beautiful girl. Oh, there's her, look at that. Hi, Dina. There's her um, where she plucks on both shoulders. Thanks, and I'll catch you next time.